Hello, this is Josh Patel, and today I am giving you another biology lesson. Today we will be doing chapter 3, which is Cell Structure and Function, Lesson 5, Active Transport, Endocytosis, and Exocytosis. This will also be the last video of chapter 3. So our key concept for today is cells use energy to transport materials that cannot diffuse across a membrane. So in our last video, we learned about passive transport, and now we're learning about active transport, which requires energy, unlike passive transport. So active transport, as you can probably guess, can go from concentrations of low to high. So the concentration difference can be from low to high, but it requires energy. So active transport requires energy input from a cell and enables a cell to move a substance against its concentration gradient. So passive transport requires no energy from the cell, but active transport is powered by a chemical ATP, which is energy for a cell. And we will learn all about ATP in our next chapter, chapter four. So active transport occurs through transport protein pumps. So this blue area is the transport protein pump and it pumps molecules through the membrane into the other side of the cell which would be the which would have more molecules so it goes from a low concentration to high concentration but the cost is it uses energy so cells have cells use active transport to maintain homeostasis when they can't regularly just get the materials in and it's too hard they have to use their energy to move it to where they need it to go. So a cell can import and export large amount, large materials or large amounts of materials in vesicles during the process of endocytosis and exocytosis. So now we're learning about endo and exocytosis. So here we go. So cells use energy to transport materials in vesicles. So endocytosis is the process of making material into taking material into the cell. So endo, so E N D O is in, so it comes in. So they're taking the materials in endocytosis. So it's taking materials into the cell through vesicles. So it it does require energy. So look at the image right here and it, it goes pretty fast, but you can kind of see it going. So that's the vesicle, it comes in and then it splits apart like that. Let's do it one more time. So the vesicle comes in through the cell membrane and then the cell membrane breaks apart a little to evolve, to let whatever came in get out and move around where it needs to go. So then if you can infer exocytosis must mean exiting the materials. And so here phagocyte. Phagocytosis is a type of endocytosis, which we don't really need to know right now. So exocytosis is the process of expelling materials from the cell. So as you see, this is the last image of the three, which shows it throwing out the material that it doesn't need. So watch real carefully. So it's coming out and then it just leaves. So there it goes. That's how exocytosis. So this is the end to our short lesson today, which was on chapter three, cell structure and function, lesson five, active transport, endocytosis and exocytosis. So hopefully you remember everything. And if you missed anything, make sure you go back and review it. And our next video will start chapter four, because this was the last video of chapter three. And chapter four is all about cells and energy. And lesson one will be about chemical energy and ATP in a cell. So make sure you watch the next video and good luck in your quest in biology.